Hi everybody, Rochelle here from Quebec Cyclidé. Today I'm going to be showing you my piranhas. So enjoy this awesome footage of feeding my piranhas underwater with a GoPro. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved watching my piranhas feed as much as I do. It is a blast every time. Usually they're a bit less scared and I don't have to hand feed them. As soon as the food falls in, they figure out what it is and they just jump on it like ravenous piranhas like you saw in this video. Now you're probably wondering, what is wrong with me and why did I put my hand in a aquarium of piranhas? The thing is red belly piranhas are pretty chicken. Even when you're outside the aquarium, if there's too much noise, they will hide. The thing is, this is a smart fish and fish are creatures of habit. So if ever you decide that you want to hand feed your piranhas and 
you get them used to it, every time you put your hand in the water, they will associate that with feeding. So don't do that because they have big teeth. Of course, you're not going to lose your hand as you might have seen the miniature image, <laughs> which was a little bit exaggerated. I still have both my hands. No harm was done. But if ever you do that, well, you could get pretty bad infections on your hands. So don't head feed your piranhas or at least if you do, don't get them used to it or do it when they're still small. For those of you who are following me on Facebook, I posted a video a while back of my piranhas eating at my hand. The thing is, this was when they were this big when I got them. Now they're about this big. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, I, I like my hands. They're useful. So don't be scared of your red belly piranhas. Just don't th get them used to eating your hands. Also, if you choose to have red belly piranhas, now the ones that are in this video are in a 90 gallon tank, but I'll soon be upgrading them to a 125 because piranhas, well, they need a big aquarium and they can get big about this size. What is that, like eight inches? Well, big fish. Also, my supplier was able to get me some tank raised piranhas, meaning that all they ate during their life was frozen food and pellets and flakes. I didn't have to adapt them to eating that. But if you buy wild caught piranhas, chances are that they'll only feed on live animals such as little goldfish or the feeder fish. If you get tank grays, they're way easier to keep. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, well, there is plenty more where that came from. I post a new video on every Thursday. So subscribe to my channel and make sure not to miss a single one. If you want more fishy content in between my weekly videos, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a great website where you can shop online and see all the fish I have for sale. I ship throughout Canada. If you like this fabulous Cichlid Geek t-shirt, which has nothing to do with piranhas, I also have Fish Geek available on my Teespring store. The t-shirts ship worldwide and all the sales really help me out in continuing to make all these amazing videos. So thank you to everybody who has purchased them. And also thank you to Joanny and Dima Productions for making all of this possible. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Finally, thank you to everybody who encourages me week after week at my store. So thank you everybody for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.